Hello everyone, my name is Bill Wilson, Editorial Director of Roads and Bridges Magazine, and welcome to the 2011 Top 10 Bridges Unveiling Special, sponsored by Cabelco Cranes North America. Number 10. The Historic Michigan Street Bascule Bridge Rehab, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. This project involved the rehabilitation of a historic double-leaf rolling lift bascule bridge over Sturgeon Bay and its approach spans. A combination of closed-circuit television cameras, thermal imaging cameras, and a radar system were installed to ensure traffic and pedestrians were clear prior to lifting the bridge. One phase of the project required that the contractor perform two deck pours during the winter months. Number 9. I-270 over Dorset Road, Maryland Heights, Missouri. This was the St. Louis region's first diverging diamond interchange and the fourth of its kind in the U.S. Fred Weber Incorporated constructed two new bridges, one at a time, in just 56 days on Missouri's busiest section of highway without significantly impacting traffic. Number 8. The Chelsea Street Bridge Replacement, Boston, Massachusetts. Designer HNTB designed a constant depth worn type truss for the superstructure of this bridge. Utilizing state of the art three dimensional modeling of the new bridge, HNTB was able to reduce the amount of structural steel required for the new lift span and produce a very efficient and attractive design. Number 7. The Cross Bay Veterans Memorial Bridge Rehab, Queens County, New York. To help prevent corrosion, admixtures such as a corrosion inhibitor and shrinkage reducing agents were added to the closure pour concrete. In addition, the thickness of the closure pour was increased to provide additional cover to the reinforcing. Finally, a spray applied waterproof membrane was applied over the deck, then covered by a new SuperPave asphalt wearing surface. Number 6. The Main Street Bridge over the Scioto River, Columbus, Ohio. One of the challenges of this project was the design of the single arch rib. Bracing for the rib extended down to the floor beams, which makes this structure internally braced and complex to analyze. In addition, the arch is tied with stay cables, which are relatively flexible. Number 5. U.S. 40 over the Susquehanna River, Havre de Grace, Maryland. The anticipated 192 concrete deck pours on this project were reduced to 60, a 70% reduction. Longer concrete pour lengths saved time, provided a more consistent finish, and minimized construction joints. In addition, each new grid deck piece had to be custom made for a specific location on the bridge. Coordination with L.B. Foster, grid fabricator, enabled 1,728 individual pieces of the grid to be fabricated and installed with only two pieces having to be refabricated. Number 4. The Doyle Drive High Viaduct, San Francisco. The viaduct was designed with fewer columns and three 275 foot long main spans in order to open views to the San Francisco Bay and surrounding area. More importantly, the Basidio Viaduct was designed to withstand the maximum credible earthquake for this seismic region. Number 3. The Milton Madison Bridge Project, Madison, Indiana and Milton, Kentucky. This project involved placing a new truss superstructure on the existing rehabilitated piers. To rehabilitate the piers to meet modern standards, it was determined that the pier design could rely on finite element analysis, taking into account the actual soil and bedrock interaction with the pier and caisson. Number 2. The I-78 Improvement Project, Union and Hillside Townships, New Jersey. The main structural challenge on this project was to accommodate the curved and sharply skewed ramp crossings with minimal impacts to span lengths, structure depths, and profile grades. It led to the use of steel box cross girders built integrally with the curved steel longitudinal girders. And the number one bridge on the 2011 Top 10 Bridges list is... 
the South Street Bridge Reconstruction Project in Philadelphia. This was the largest and most complex public works bridge project in Philadelphia's history. Developing the South Street profile compared to threading a needle in one area, it extended over, under, and adjacent to four railroads, a river, an urban interstate and its ramps, a train station, and a university building and fields within the approximately 1,400 foot long limits of bridge proper and its abutting 400 foot long U-shaped retaining wall segment.